What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about doing a hard reset on any Samsung phone. Basically, any Android phone. I tried to do a hard reset on this Samsung Galaxy Note 20 5G. I watched a similar video showing you how to bypass a pin number. So usually when you lock your screen and when you try to unlock it, it always asks for this pin. And if you don't have this pin, you can't access the phone, nor can you shut off the phone. So what I'm going to do in this case is show you how you can bypass all of that as well as the Google account that it asks for when you try and do a factory reset because it isn't as simple as doing a factory reset anymore newer devices like the samsung galaxies etc they all ask for the previous google account or the current google account when you try to do a factory reset i guess it's their security protocol so that you're not just trying to wipe someone's phone for some reason when you do a hard reset you are able to bypass both the pin number and the google account i have done this myself on this samsung galaxy note 20 5g i got this phone off someone and it was a legitimate buy he sold it to me the thing was i forgot to ask for the pin number because i didn't know that he left it on and once he gave me the pin number i was able to access the phone turn it off etc however when i tried to go into settings to do a factory reset it would not let me do it and it would ask for the current gmail password for the gmail account that was currently on the phone now, I messaged him and I was waiting for a reply so he could give me his account details. But I also felt weird asking for it because then I could probably enter his Google account. So I decided to search the internet and see how you do a hard reset and whether or not it bypasses the PIN number as well as the Google account. I finally found a video and to my surprise, it does do it however i was very unsuccessful in being able to do the hard reset and entering the hard reset option on the phone to break it down for you guys in order to enter the hard reset mode what you need to do is hold the volume down button and the power button together until the phone shuts off and once the phone's off, you hold the volume up button and the power button until it boots into the hard reset option, which is also called the one O-N-E UI, one user interface. And that's the hard reset option. The reason why you hold the volume down button and the power button is so that you can force the shutdown of the phone. Because when you don't have the pin number of the phone and you try to shut it off, like this power off it always asks for the pin number and you don't have the pin number so what we do now is we hold the volume down button and the power button until the phone shuts off once the phone shuts off you switch it to volume up and power button and you hold it until it boots into the hard reset option which is the one user interface we'll do this together so let's go volume down power button Now we go volume up and power button until it boots into the user interface. Now that's not supposed to happen where the Samsung logo boots. It's supposed to go straight into the hard reset option. So now I know it's unsuccessful. Now for some reason, when I was going through that video showing how to do this, people were saying that it still works, etc. They managed to get on the first go. There were also other comments saying how they were unable to do it. No matter how many times they tried, they just couldn't do it. And I thought to myself, it must have something to do with a cable because there are ways in which you can do it where you use a program in order to walk you through on how you do a hard reset. To my surprise, I figured out the reason why your phone won't enter the hard reset mode is simply because you do not have it plugged in. It really is that simple. So the minute you plug in your phone and you do the exact same steps, it is going to boot straight away into the hard reset mode. And I'm going to show you right now. Now with the phone plugged in, we're going to do the exact same steps and watch what happens. We have our USB cable plugged in. It's simply plugged into the laptop. We're not using any types of programs at all. Nothing's open. We simply plug it in. We are forcing the phone into debug mode. And I believe that is what's happening when you plug in the phone into the PC, laptop, etc. 
Right, so now we do the exact same steps and let's see what happens. Volume down and power button to shut it off. Okay, we'll plug in. There we go. Now, there is just one extra step that you need to wait for and that is letting this boot to its charge point. So right now it's got 58% on the phone. We need to just let it get to this point where it stops counting and we know that it's on 58%. Now, from here, all you have to do is the exact same step where you hold the power button and the volume up button and you'll see it's going to boot straight into the hard reset mode, right? So here we go. You hold the volume up and the power button and watch what happens. There you are, look at that. There you go. In order for you to bypass the pin number on any phone that you may have lost the pin number to or the Google account to, all you have to do is this hard reset and you're able to bypass the pin number and also the Google account on the phone. It works for me on this Galaxy Note 25G, so I'm pretty sure it's going to work for you as well. Remember that the only thing that you have to do is plug in the phone first. You don't need any special programs, nothing like that. Just plug in the phone into your PC and do the steps where you hold the volume down and the power button until the phone turns off and then you wait for it to go to which charge point. Then you simply hold the volume up and the power button until it boots into this mode. Once you're in this, you're able to control it using the volume up and down button and the enter button is now your power button like this. And what you want to do here is go into wipe data and factory reset. You enter it by pressing the power button that selects whichever one of these options you want. But what you would want to do in this case is wipe data slash factory reset. Now it does warn you down the bottom here. If your phone is reset, you may need to enter the Google account information slash email address and password associated with this phone to be able to use it again. I can honestly confirm that that is not true because when I got this phone off the person that I bought it off, they still had their Google account on this and I wanted to do the hard reset in the settings, but I was unable to do it because it did ask me for the Google account and I couldn't be bothered waiting for him to respond. So I simply did a hard reset and to my surprise, once the phone started again, everything was removed. His pin number, his Google account information. I was able to set up the phone from scratch simply using this full hard reset. Now it may be different for you, I'm not too sure, but I can honestly say that it did work for me. And as soon as it booted again, it was like the phone was just brand new out of the box and you had to set your language and then use Wi-Fi, etc., to set up the entire phone and go through the whole setup wizard of Samsung. I'm simply going to reboot the system. So I press enter by pressing the power button. And just like that, the phone now reboots. This is how it is with all phones. I have an S10 here, and I'm gonna show you that it will only work when I plug in the cable as well. So here is a Samsung Galaxy S10. There is a difference with the S10 because back then they had the Bixby button, which is this button here, where when you press on it, it enters into a Bixby mode, which is kind of like, hey Google, I'm gonna press Bixby, and it's gonna take us into this mode right here. Here we go. This is Bixby. That's the difference. Now, in order to enter the hard reset mode of the Samsung Galaxy S10, S8, S9, anything below S10, you would have to do it like this. That has a Bixby button. In order to make this work, obviously you plug the cable in because it only works with the cable in. You just power it off by simply pressing volume down and the power button. They say that you're meant to hold the Bixby button as well, but I think you only need to hold that when you do the hard reset option. So I shut the phone off by holding volume down. Remember, very important that you have the cable plugged in if you wanna enter the hard reset mode. Press volume down and power button until the phone shuts off. Once the phone has shut off, you just wait for it to charge to its percentage point. In this case, it's 47%. Now, from here, what you need to do is hold 
all three buttons at once. You need to hold volume up, power, and big speed button. And that's going to allow you to enter hard reset mode. With the cable plugged in still, you now simply press power, volume up, and big speed. These three keys and watch what happens. Voila, once again, we have entered the hard reset mode. So that's it guys. That's how you can successfully bypass a phone's pin number and also the Google account. I really hope you found this video helpful guys. And if you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs. Signing off. Bye for now guys.